Hi, my name is Carrie, and um, I was recently looking for some information on YouTube about rotator cuff injuries and frozen shoulder injuries because about three months ago I started having problems with my shoulders and I couldn't move them very well. And because I have fibromyalgia and I don't know much about it, I was just recently finally diagnosed. Um, I just figured it was another symptom of that because, you know, I have pain all over. So I just kind of let it go and was just thinking, you know, I'll, I'll just deal with it because I have to. <laughs> but more and more, you know, I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't lay on my shoulders. Um, they would kind of pop and, and crack out of place. Um, and then the pain just started radiating down my arm. Now, it first started with this one was bothering me a little bit. And then this one just got really bad, which is my right side. And I use it a lot more. So I'm figuring that that's probably why it started bothering me more. Now, I don't work anymore. I work at home on a computer. So I do use this arm a lot, you know, for the mouse and stuff like that. But, but that's about it. I don't really use it for much more than that. So anyway, um, I finally decided, you know, okay, I'm going to go back to physical therapy. I made an appointment with a shoulder doctor. I haven't seen him yet, so I haven't been diagnosed. But when I went to my doctor and to my physical therapy, they said definitely um, my shoulder is frozen because I can't lift it past here. And I used to be very flexible, hypermobile. Like, I could reach this hand all the way up to my neck. Like, that's how far it went. So, like, this one's still moving pretty good, but it stops about right here and pinches right here and then it hurts like in this area so this one's starting to freeze up a lot more um but i can still reach pretty far now what they did is they put um kinesio tape on it which um don't buy this stuff at walgreens because they do have it for sale there but if you put it on the wrong muscles you're really going to mess it up so they have a certain way of doing it to keep those muscles and the shoulder kind of in place and so they don't hurt so much because I can't really stretch them at all. It's all tight like in my chest and here. So that's part of it. And then um, on this shoulder, this is the first time I've actually looked at it. That's kind of what that looks like. But as you see, like I can't lift it. It just keeps staying stuck and I can't go back. And I already am to the point where I can't even reach behind my back at all with the shoulder. It just, it hurts everywhere and he says, if it hurts right here, that's an, another sign because the shoulder socket in the bone is rubbing against this bone right here. So it's like you just move it a little bit and it just kind of like pinches. So they had me do like a bunch of like exercises, you know, to see how high and stuff I can raise my arms. And you can kind of do some of those at home. I had looked on YouTube for stretches to do, but obviously it's a little too late for me because I can't... Um, do a lot of those things on my own. So I'm not sure what's going to happen yet when I go to the um, shoulder doctor. My therapist said most likely he'll give me um, some cortisone injections so that um, it doesn't hurt so much and I can start to stretch it out more. And then, um, you know, they, they he said he can't tell if there's a tear because I have such limited movement so they can't really do the tests to tell if there's a tear or not. So we'll see what the shoulder doctor says. Um, after I go see him and um, what they do for frozen shoulder actually to really to fix it if you can't do anything with it is they knock you out and they take your arm and they yank it all over the place and supposedly like everything pops and cracks and the therapist said that it sounds like gunshots going off because it's so loud so I'm just like oh my gosh I don't want to do that it sounds so painful <laughs> So, but anything is better than this right now because, of, you know, I can't sleep on it and if I just, now I know to kind of hold it here because I would like suddenly move it the wrong way and it's just like the worst pain in the whole world that you don't want to deal with. So, um, if you're wondering if you have a frozen shoulder, um, that is, you know, what you kind of have to look for. If it's not moving like that, you know, you can't do this kind of stuff and it doesn't lift up. You know, I can't move it up without moving my whole body. So definitely you're starting to get something like that. Go see your doctor because you don't want to wait too long like I did. And now I can't move this arm at all. And it hurts a lot all the time. So if you were, um, you know, looking for information on it to kind of see, like I was, what the symptoms are, here I am. So <laughs> you can kind of see what happens when you get a frozen shoulder. So. 
talk to you later and I'll keep you updated on what the doctor says. Bye.